Hey everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm gonna demonstrate on how to paint realistic hair using acrylics. Okay, so I have here already some painting, so I already do the face and I already the background color of the hair. I'm gonna add the highlights now and add some other details like the brownish color tone or the reflection of the of the lights. So uh, here I already done the background which is the, the dark color uh, you can use black but I'm using what I used here was um, blue and black and with also raw umber and you could also use raw umber and black but I'm not content with it I want it to be uh, darker a lot darker so I used um, blue with black or black with uh, raw umber or red something like that so I'm gonna mix it to make it dark but I don't want to put exactly perfect uh, direct black on this one because I don't like it okay so I'm gonna start I'm going to show you just a little demonstration on this yeah so it is an acrylic painting everyone so it is a commission painting and I have here my acrylic paints on my palette here so I will try to add some highlights, a little highlights, uh, not so much light but uh, it will be just, uh, I'll try to do it first the mid tones, then I'm gonna add the, the highlights, okay, so black and blue, and then white. You can see here it's a little bluish. I'm gonna put some raw umber. Yeah, raw umber will just uh, make it more like brownish or something. I don't want to make it more bluish, but maybe later I will try. If you're asking me if I have reference, of course, uh, this is from an original photo also uh, from my client. So here I will try to add uh, some mid tones. Yeah, maybe I'll try to put uh, more bluish. Here. So by the way, I'm using the number two nylon flat brush. Uh, it's a little tiny flat brush, good enough for this. But you can also use some um, liner brush if it's uh, good for you. You need to follow the curves it's a little uh, not so easy especially this curve thing there You can also retouch it later on if you want to make something uh, some some parts will be not, not so not so much uh, bluish you can you can add later on but this time we just have to create the mid tones mid tones are not so light not so dark colors looks good and then here I just follow the pattern everyone on the 
my reference photo but actually I didn't follow so much uh, from it because you know it will, it will take time Later on everyone, you can use a lot smaller liner brush. I'll try to make uh, a little lighter. I'm gonna add some white. I try to make it here, but I'll try to, yeah. For now, you're using a bigger brush because I want it to be a lot faster. But you can also use, you can also use the. Uh, like a liner brush or round brush for this one but for now we're gonna do it this way because I want it to be a little faster I want it to finish uh, right away now we're gonna refine later the strokes the size of the, the hair of course we're gonna use the smaller brush So far, it looks good. There. So you have now the mid tones, but it's not done yet. Don't celebrate it yet. We're still very, very far. Yeah. And also we need to uh, I think I'm gonna put a little more reddish or brownish color so I, I, I saw some brownish tone or a little bland colors in the, in the hair so I'm gonna use it so we have here some raw umber I think it's a robot machine now something of a raw umber no I think uh, Roshena 
or yeah porn senna and then I'm gonna try to put some mix it with the rumber so I'm using more than uh, five limited colors now here I think I just add the rumber or something or some black but uh, this colors uh, is okay if you don't use this one yeah I think I'm gonna put a little ridge stone here it's not just brown everyone but it should be red Yeah, it should be reddish brown. Uh, let's remember this color. I'll put a little ridge stone here. Uh, not a ridge stone, but a uh, uh, ridge brown. Look, uh, to look this part more fine. Okay. Here also I'm going to put some more uh, uh, ridges uh, tone on the base of the hair. So I will try to make it uh, closer. Yeah, I think it's better to make it closer. So you can see clear. I'm going to put here some brownish. Uh, just a little brownish stone because uh, I almost can't cannot see it uh, on my reference photo. So just a little. There. Okay, so I'm going to add more. Uh, I'm going to add again some. Uh, dark bluish I'll just try to retouch Yeah. 
later I'm gonna put uh, more hair uh, on the on the on the outside, something like that. I just want to put more darks here, everyone. Some darker shades. Okay, so now I'm going to use uh, the smaller brush. I think I will try now the liner brush. It's much more uh, smaller, of course. I can create a smaller details. Yeah, I'll try to use this liner brush. I think it's perfect for this one. Uh, I'm gonna use some white. Again, I'm gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna mix for a little bluish color, a uh, bluish gray or something. What I like about this liner brush, everyone, because you can create really tiny, small details. Just like you are making some curves or something. But careful here, there's some wet here. So it will be a little tricky. I don't know about uh, how I use my brush, it's a little strange. There. So we have now much more detailed hair again I'm gonna put uh, gray color but always remember not to put um, directly white color so you can put more like grayish uh, adding some uh, a little black and blue So we can put some uh, hair on the top. Fly away hair. I don't know what to call that. There.
ya it's much more uh, uh, the details much more tiny and it actually looks good Okay. Also here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to put more here using this tiny brush. There. So we'll put a little shiny color with this a little lighter like that to make it uh, look shiny so you just have to put the highlights just to make it look uh, shiny like this Now uh, I'm gonna try uh, lighter. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try lighter color. So just add white. But you can just uh, mix it here, and then this uh, again. You need to just go, uh, put it on top of the existing grayish color, like this. This part will be the highlights or the shiniest part or something like that. want to put more something more here okay yeah I'll just take my time okay I will add more Make sure that uh, your brush with paints uh, is uh, wet so that uh, it will drag good on the canvas like this so you can create those tiny uh, details of the hair. And my stroke will be a little curvy.
that's good that it's acrylic everyone because uh, this, uh, some parts are already dry I can I can put my my hand here but if it's oil actually I, I love uh, oil more than acrylic but uh, I like both of them but still my oil is my favorite medium so I will put some wood here and I can lie down my hand something like that so they can attach the I'll try to mix more free yes like this part uh, it's more, more shiny and white okay part will be at no light also put some uh, flying hair like that Yeah, so far it looks good. It looks pretty realistic. I always try to retouch more. Wait, I'm gonna make it a little darker. And make sure that your brush is pointed. one I'll try to make it a lot lighter Okay, that's very very uh, clean and um, bright something. And now I'll try to make some uh brownish so here i have uh, brown yellow 
It's a brownish color, everyone. I'm gonna make this highlight here brownish. So I need to put some more uh, brownies. So I'll just use this brown with some white. I think that looks good. I know some other. I'm gonna put more uh, brownish color. So it sounds strange that all the brown is here. And I need to put more browns. There. Yeah. You can see a little brownish stone on some other parts i'm not sure if it's clear to you in the, in the camera but uh here i can see it uh, yeah i'll just try to retouch here i'll try to put some uh, dark here inside the scalp or something on the part of the scalp yeah i'll just try to make it more brownish so umber with some black and white make sure that it's wet enough I should put some plenty of hair here on this part. here and to put yeah right. I'm going to 
have another flesh color uh, no maybe just uh, more brownish and white there just a little touch here Yeah, and then also here, oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I need to put a little white to make sure that this part will be really, really uh, looks fine. Looks good. And I will try to put a lighter. Need some more white. I want this part to be look fine. There you go. Yeah, I think it's really looks fine, everyone. Okay, so let us see the entire view, and I'll try to retouch the sides. It should have more hair on the sides. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so I am not going to add some hairs anywhere. Uh, I'll be using this in brush and some dark colors, so umber and black. So I'm always mixing black with this color so that it will become not. Uh, pure black. I don't like pure black everyone. Yeah. Going to put some flying hair. I don't know what to call this one. <laughs> Also here, I need to put
down. One more, I'll just try to put more details. Okay, so, so that's it everyone. I will let you see the entire view of this painting. Yeah. I have there my reference. Yeah, sounds good. It looks good. I mean. Okay, so I want to say thank you for watching this video today. I hope you'll get something out of this. Yeah, this is a commission portrait. And I just show you how to paint the hair. So for the kids. You still uh, learn on how to do the details of the hair. Okay, everyone, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory, honor, and praises. I give back to the Lord.